name is Roger Davidson. Thank you for joining in to today's lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to present your solution for the repair. And remember, there's a very important place to do the presentation, and that place is anywhere other than the source of their anxiety, i.e. move away from the problem to do the repair. Don't do a presentation about a new toilet on top of the toilet. I have seen that done before. Don't do a presentation on a new fan motor in front of the condensing unit. Don't do a presentation for a new contactor in front of the condensing unit. It's just it's not a good idea. Move them away from that. We've had that class already. But here's what you do. This is assuming that this customer is new and doesn't know anything about you and doesn't know anything about the company other than maybe what they may have seen online or heard from someone else. But if you have a new customer, take them to the kitchen table, take them to the sofa, just anywhere other than the source of the problem. and. You, you need to do a short presentation on your company. Tell them about your company. I don't know about your company, but tell them all about your company. You need to do a short presentation about yourself. Tell them about you. Tell them about your qualifications. Uh, don't be arrogant. Don't be rude. Don't be prideful, but have a certain amount of confidence in your abilities to do what, you're, what you've been called out to do. And, and then you, you might want to spend a little bit of time telling them about how you arrive at your pricing. I hope you have a flat rate book. Flat rate pricing, I believe, is the best way to do it. But if you have a flat rate book, give them the benefits to the flat rate pricing. Everybody pays, everybody pays the same amount. Prices are in the book. Whatever we tell you is going to cost, is going to cost them more, no matter how long it takes to get them Give them all the benefits to the flat rate book. And then, uh, build value in what you're, what you're going to do. Uh, and uh, let me just give you a really a specific example. I was with a, a client of mine one day and I watched him. We had, to, we had to repair a contactor. And he basically just handed the customer the contactor and said, here, that's going to be $249. And the customer got all accident, got out of, been out of shape, got angry, said, you're ripping me off. So don't ever do it that way. You have to build value in what you're doing. You're the technician customer's not the technician, go into great detail about what you've got to do. Ma'am, I've got, I've got to, uh, th this particular, you go in, you show them, you draw a picture, you're away from the problem, you draw a picture, you say this, this particular device here is not allowing electricity to get past it, uh, I don't know if there's anything else wrong because I can't get electricity to go to the whole system, what I've got to do is I've got to take great care and, and disconnecting that, or lots of little wires, I've got to take this wire off, this wire off, then I've got to put the, I've got to put the new device on it make sure I hook them up properly and put this wire here and this wire here and uh, and then I've got to turn the system on then I've got to check this I've got to check that I got to do a total diagnostic because there may be something else wrong but right now I'm 90% sure that this is where the, where, where the solution lies and then to do all of that work is only going to be $298 so you have to build the value in the whole entirety of the process uh, what we charge has very little to do with what the part costs. And the customer needs to understand that. And you've got to do a good job in relaying that. Hey, listen, I hope you learned something today. Uh, remember, change the behavior to change the results.